More U.S. airstrikes have slammed Islamic State targets in northern Iraq, killing militants and putting a small dent in the group's huge cache of weapons. Now, these bombing raids are aimed at helping Kurdish troops fend off the IS advance. Meanwhile, Iraq's prime minister, partly blamed for this crisis, is refusing to give up power and is using his loyal military forces to lock down key locations across Baghdad. Shin Semin reports. Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al Maliki is not denying calls to step down, he's digging in. During a speech on state television Sunday, Maliki said he will not drop his bid for a third term in office and intends to file a complaint against Iraq's new president for violating the constitution for political gains. Maliki claims President Fouad Massoum failed to name a prime minister from the country's largest parliamentary faction by a deadline on Sunday. The calls have grown louder for Maliki to step aside in favor of someone who can bring the nation together in the face of the growing threat posed by Islamic State militants. The United States launched a fourth round of airstrikes on Sunday in northern Iraq, helping Kurdish troops recapture large swaths of land there. But other towns remain in militants' hand, including Makamar District, which is a short distance from Erbil, the capital of the Kurdistan region. Islamic State militants have so far killed at least 500 members of Iraq's Yazidi minority, including women and children, according to an Iraqi government minister on Sunday. Some 20,000 refugees who were trapped on Mount Sinjar have been rescued and moved to the Iraqi-Syrian border. Aside from the airstrikes, the Obama administration says it will continue to push for an inclusive Iraqi government capable of handling the situation by itself. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.